Hi guys, welcome back to House of Hair UK. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime we post new content. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do a maintenance on a client who has taken hair extensions. If you're interested in learning how, then keep watching. So I said I'm going to stop shying away from the camera and hiding behind it and I'm going to be in front of the camera a little bit more and that is why the intro that you just saw was me in front of the camera and I also wanted to show you guys my new hair colour that I absolutely love. Anyway, let's get into the video. So this is me removing my client's taping hair extensions. I normally use a tape remover by a company called Viola Hair but because we started doing wigs in the salon and we used this C22 to remove wig tape, I decided to use it on these tapes and it was absolutely incredible. So removing tape and hair extensions, C22 is really, really good. It helped me remove the actual tapes and then also the buildup and the residue from the tapes that was in her hair. It was incredible. So I'm going to start by removing her tape. She's got half head of tapes and a half head of micro rings, but we're going to be installing just a full head of tape and hair extensions. So guys, how I would advise you remove tape in hair extensions is having a rat tail comb or a tail end comb, poke a small hole through the actual tape so that you get a little bit of separation. If you're able to pull apart the tapes just slightly at the corners, then I would advise you do that. Then use your tape remover or your C22 and spray it maybe once or twice on the tapes and gently massage it in. When you're massaging it in, you're loosening the client's hair or your own hair from the actual tape or the sticky tape. Once you've loosened your hair from it, you should be able to gently, gently slide your hair or slide the tape away from your hair. Make sure that you're holding your hair at the root when you start to pull away at the hair extension so that you're not putting any tension on your own hair and you don't pull out any unnecessary strands. So not all hair extensions can actually have a maintenance. So hair extensions like Brazilian knots or the hot keratin fusion ones and taping hair extensions, you actually have to remove the tapes and remove the hair extensions and then reinstall them. So you can't actually do like a lift or anything like that, which would be more classed as a maintenance. So for this client, we removed all of the tapes. I gave her a wash because the glue remover or the tape remover that I used was oil based. So we're unable to put new hair extensions on top of oily hair. So at House of Hair, we don't actually stock a taping range of hair extensions in any texture. We actually only do micro rings and wefted hair extensions. So this client, she brought along her own hair. I personally feel that she should have gone with a yakky texture that would have blended with her hair better, but she went for this hair and she got it from Amazon. So I'm just braiding away her leave out. It might look like it's quite a lot of hair, but her hair is very deceiving. It's very fine, but she's got a lot of it. So if you put the tape ins too close to the hairline, when her hair gets oily and it's due for a wash and she tries to tie her hair up, you're going to be able to see the tape. So you have to leave out a decent hairline so that when your clients, so they don't have to worry about their hair extension showing, even on days when their hair is due for a wash. So although this client is going to be introducing colour, she's going to add colour even though her own hair doesn't have colour, all of the base hair extensions or the hair extensions that are around the parameter and close to the hairline, I'm going to make sure that they are her own hair colour. Because if you put in something like a blonde or a red and it's not her own hair colour, when she ties it up, it's either going to look very streaky and look a little bit like um, a zebra type of stripes of hair colour, or it's going to be very visible because her own hair is dark and the base colour of the hair extensions is blonde. So we're making sure that all the hair that's around the outside is actually her own hair colour and then we'll slowly start introducing the blonde tapings. So 
So some people ask why do I put the tape on the tail end of the comb and it's just so that I have more control over it and I can control her hair a little bit more. If you can see here I pull down on her hair slightly so that it's got some tension before I actually stick it onto the tape and that's just so that it's evenly distributed on her hair so there's not going to be some strands that are firmly inside the tape, some that are only loosely inside of it because that will leave her head quite sore and be quite irritating. So you want to put a little bit of tension and the way to have more control and create that tension is to put the tape on the tail end of your comb. The only reason why I cut this tape here in half is so that it doesn't overlap her leave out. So we don't want it to show and be too close to the hairline, but I also didn't want to leave a gap. I felt that that gap was too large. But I actually prefer half tapes. If you've seen any of my other tape videos, you'll see that I cut half tapes quite a lot on client's hair because I feel like it's a little bit more gentle and it doesn't pull on your hair. Right now, they're really firm in her hair. For the next couple of weeks, they're gonna be really, really firm. But when it gets closer to the takeout time, those long strips of tapes, I find them myself when I've had them in my hair, I can find them a little bit uncomfortable. So when you have half tapes, I personally believe that they're more comfortable and they put less strain on your hair, but some clients don't like that. So I just give them the full tape. Although I'm not a huge fan of taping hair extensions, I don't really like any hair extensions that have kind of heat or any form of adhesive. Taping hair extensions are absolutely flawless. If you're someone who's got fine hair or you're worried about hair extensions showing at your hairline, then tapings are unbeatable. There's no other hair extensions that are as flat as tapes. Here again, I'm just showing you guys again the tension that I like to put on it. If you can see, I'm pulling slightly on her hair before I push her hair onto the tape. And then I use the tail end of the comb just to press all of her hair into the tape to make sure there's no loose strands that can get caught. So this is my client's final look guys it looks so pretty it's so 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 cute she's really really happy with it this is just another way for you to introduce color to your hair without having to actually color your own natural hair i think this color looks absolutely beautiful i'm going to give you a little bit of a demo of how seamless taping hair extensions are and you cannot see them when she ties her hair up she's going to be able to do a half up half down style because we left gaps around the sides just behind her ears um Yep, it just looks absolutely flawless.
so thank you guys for watching if you like what you see then please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to house of hair uk's youtube channel please head over to instagram and follow our instagram page which is house of hair uk if you guys want to see more content around taping hair extensions then leave some comments below